every crypto exchange has its own team and own process of making sure that uh, KYC, as in whoever's trading on the platform, uh, they know who they are, they know somewhat the source of the funds. So they have compliance teams, they have legal teams dedicated specifically for this. And they also use tools and technology in order to help scale uh, uh, that volume. They do that on the mobile app and, uh, and their website. Plus, there are regulations in specific geographies that are tighter than other geographies as well. So they usually comply. This is why you see messages when you're logging in saying, we're not supported in your country or your country requires further validation. So when you hear about an exchange not being compliant, that means there was a breakdown in their existing process, right? their existing system uh, for uh, being able to identify uh, users. And that comes likely from either a huge volume of applicants and transactions that they're unable to keep up in terms of staffing and users. It might come also from quality control. So there's not a, a layer of quality internally inside the company. Uh, it could also come from if there is a high turnover of employees. Uh, so that's that's in good faith. Uh, the other scenario would be it's in bad faith, actually. So they're trying to facilitate certain transactions uh, without going into a lot of details uh, about who, because there's there's money to be made. But it's usually the uh, the first part where it's a lot to be done, and they don't have enough people, enough qualified people to do so, and there's a turnover for them to be able to uh, process this.